So we're now in part two and now it's time to create the overlay at the back so that when we hover over a point, we want to make the back a bit dark. And what I also want to do is to make sure that these dotted colors inside will be solid, but we will give it some effect as well. So let's start to do that first. Let's give these items a solid color like this. But what I will do is by default, we can do it like that, I guess. Let's save that first. All right. What I want to do now is when we hover, it will give a slightly different effect or something like that. Uh, we can say here maybe for the hover background. Then maybe the hover border can be set on zero. So we don't need to even focus on the border color since it's quite redundant anyway. So I'm going to say here, but I'm going to say here, hover, capital B background. And this one maybe we can say 0 0.7. By doing that, we will now highlight only when we hover. So if I refresh, you can see here it's a bit lighter. But now, once I hover on top of it, it becomes bigger. All right, or big, not only bigger, it becomes darker. I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but you see it will be more colorful than, than it's on default mode. And that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is going to create a background overlay, background overlay on Hoover. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put, put this uh, here. So I post this here. And the reason why I'm doing it is because this is after the data set. So I'm going to say here, constant, this equals ID. And then we're going to say here, before the data sets drawn, and this will be the chart, the arcs, and plugin options. So I do see your arc, I want to make it, put it arcs, that's a bit more better. So here we're going to do an object destructuring as well. I think we can copy this, object destructuring, remove the data and the tooltip, and I don't even think we need to scale as well. So there we are. So what I'm going to do now is going to say CTX dot fill rectangle. And this basically gives us the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the width and the height. Or it doesn't give us, it needs those values, but it will instantly draw a shape at the very back. So I need to assign a color for that. So I'm going to CTX dot fill style for the color. And I'm going to say here, uh, RGBA, and then you can say 0, 0, 0, 0.5. So we're just highlighting it immediately. So we make a black overlay color. So the X and Y corner, well, it will be the left. And this here, the Y will be the top. And then we have here the width and the height. So we don't have to do much because the chart area gives us all the crucial data. And you say here ctx dot save to save all variables above save refresh uh, all right let's see if we get an error i think rgba is not defined rgba um probably because i need to make sure that this is a string value save refresh there we are all right so this was not really what i was intended to do i wanted to do it on hoover so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here. I guess we can take the tooltip and going to use the, I'm going to borrow the same logic. And then I'm going to say if the tooltip is drawing, if that is the case, we're going to do this. Save, refresh, hover. There we are. And you can see here the items or the dots are still nice and clear when you hover over it. Beautiful, absolutely phenomenal. So we're done with that part. The next part will be, of course, putting the value here with a nice bubble or cloud value 